1941, and while the Battle of Britain was being written in the skies, a different but equally vital battle was being fought at a hospital in East Grinstead. During those hectic days, our young fighter pilots were England's sole defence against mass German formation. We won the dogfights and finally the battle, but many of our pilots were horribly injured in the wreckage of their Spitfires and Hurricanes. Many of the few lost their lives, but most of the injured arrived at East Grinstead's Queen Victoria Hospital nearer death than life. Severe disfigurement through burns held little prospect of a worthwhile future. Some of them just didn't want to live. But fate provided the right man at the right time in the right place. A man to fight that terrifying battle for survival with them. The skill and patience of Archibald McIndoe gave new looks and new life to these afflicted men. As the country's leading plastic surgeon, his work, particularly at East Grinstead, was to earn him a knighthood. In those critical days, the operating theatre was in use day and night. Working closely with McIndoe was Sister Ray, then a staff nurse. She revisited the McIndoe Burns unit before attending a special presentation of Battle of Britain at this cinema. Sister Ray and other tireless members of Sir Archibald McIndoe's staff played a vital part in the rehabilitation of those courageous and unfortunate men the pilots so accurately portrayed in the film you're about to see. They're well represented in tonight's audience. The film is a tribute to them, but they'll be remembering too the Queen Victoria Hospital where they were given the chance to win that other, even more personal battle. 